Welcome back to Open Channels, everyone. I am your beloved host, Cloud Cord. Today, we're going to talk about merging sets in Ableton Live. So let me back up. One of the main reasons why I started this channel is so that I can offer people simple solutions to common creative problems. One of the creative problems that I continually have and I see most people having is you feel like there's just not enough time. You've got all these ideas, but where is the time, right? So today we're gonna to talk about merging live sets in three particular ways that you can use it to save time and speed up your workflow in the studio. So the first way we're gonna merge live sets is in arrangement view. So what is merging live sets? It's very simple. It's taking elements from another song file and importing it into the current file that you have opened. So what I wanna do is go down to places in my browser and you can see at the bottom, you can add a folder. So once you select your folder, you can hit open. And now that will add that entire project folder to your browser. So when you click on the folder, now you'll see all these Ableton Live sets are populating. Okay, so the problem that I'm having today is I've got this guitar riff that's simple, couple parts in a bass line, and I want a quick way to put a fully fleshed out drum beat on top of it. Let's listen to the raw idea that I have. <laughs> Cool, so let's say I just want a groove to play on top of without like going and getting a splice loop or having to download a new pack. I want something that I can, that has multiple tracks, right? So I'm gonna just harvest parts from an old song. Now this can be a fully finished song that you've released or something that's old, right? I'm gonna use something that's fully finished because I know all the drum parts are polished and then I can kind of remix my own drums inside this song. So there's a song I released called Disco Fizz with Mr. Bureaucratic. So I'm gonna to go to the latest version here and then I'm gonna open it up by clicking on that arrow. And now look, here is my drum group. You can see the entire file. I could literally drag in this ALS file and the whole song would populate into this current song that I'm working on. But we're gonna keep it a little more simple. We're gonna actually just drag the entire drum group in. Okay, so you can see now I have this entire drum group here that is the entire arrangement of my Disco Fizz song with Bureaucratic. Let's hear the full beat, just isolated. So look, even the automation and the EQ came in. Look at that. See that automation right there. So I can take a few minutes and line this up and now I've got drums on top of this guitar riff so that's the first way dragging in via arrangement and you'll see that my automation is dragging in as well for better or for worse but that can save you a lot of time you might have done some cool automation in whatever spare parts you're importing. Number two, merging live sets in session view. So I'm over here and I'm working on a live set and you can see each song is labeled and color coded. So each one of these clips is playback for the live set. Beginning of the set is at the top and the set is down here. I've got a little blank space here and I want to import a song of mine called Boulevard, and I feel like a couple gigs ago, I really nailed it with the automation and the transition, and I particularly remember that it was this live sultry set. So I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna look for the song Boulevard. It was on one of these first three decks, which is the track. So look down here, Boulevard. So there's two clips, right? So I'm gonna shift click, and then I can drag them in. So yeah, again, if I open up any one of these tracks, what you'll see below is clips in session view. Okay, so now here's the cool thing. Inside this track, it's already warped. It's got my starting point. It's got my loop bracket at the end. So it'll just fire right up. Ready to go, right? So I can even go to the end of the beat. 
Now let's go to the out clip. Now what's happening? I'm sensing some auto filter automation. Look at that. The clip's going up. You can also hear some shifting. The transposition's going down. And you see the clip is blinking. So that means there's some follow actions. So look at that. I imported two clips in. They were still warped. The starting points were the same. The loop brackets were the same. And all of the automation inside the clip was still intact. So that is number two, merging live sets via session. Okay, number three, importing devices. So let's listen to this little piece of music I have here. Cool, so what I wanna do is play some guitar on top of this. So I want an amp sim and I might wanna do some live looping. So what I'll do here is look for my live looping template, which if you haven't checked out my live looping template or my other amps, link in the description. Okay, so down here in my places, I've added the Cloud Chord live looping template. So now what I'm gonna do is open up that set. And now you'll see the instrument track that is where the guitar amp is. So I could just drag in that track, but I could also drag in just the devices. So let's drag it in, boom, there's my amp. Okay, now I want the looper with all the snapshots. So I could drag that track in, but let's just say I want it on the same track as this amp. So let's drag it in and boom, look at that. Now we have my live amp and we have my looping template, just in a couple of clicks. So in summary, you can do three awesome time-saving things with merging live sets. You can import into arrangement, you can do full songs, you can do groups, you can do tracks, and the automation in arrangement will still be intact. You can import into session view, you can pull in just clips from session view, and you can also pull in particular devices. Think you just nailed a snare reverb? just pulling that reverb from an old song. I hope that helps so much, y'all. I'll be back very soon. Be sure to smash that like button, drop me a comment so my videos can move up in the algorithms and I can help more people. Peace.